Hi, this is a quick video about the Law Honours Program, which will be starting in 2017 and running for the first time in Term 1 and 2 next year. Um, if you don't know me yet, I'm Scott Beatty, I'm the Honours Coordinator, and this video is just to give you a bit of a rundown on the what, whys and hows of the new Honours Program. Alright, so quickly, what is it? The Australian Qualifications Framework is the document that regulates all Australian universities. And under the AQF, bachelor's degrees are generally three years long, with an option of an honours degree, which is an additional year at the end, which introduces research and problem solving skills and access the transition to higher degree study later on. Now, obviously, most law degrees are four years, and many law programs are integrating their honours program within the fourth year of their program. However, here at CQ, we have a three year degree, which is similar to those other bachelor's degrees. So our honours program has to take the form of an additional year. It will be conducted over two, t over two terms and it um, takes the form of, of an additional qualification. The advantage of this is you can complete your three year Bachelor of Laws and you can come back at a later date to complete your honours degree if you want to. And that's the sort of flexibility that isn't generally offered within law honours programs. So why? Why would you want to complete an honours degree if you already have a Bachelor of Laws? Well, there's four main areas that are relevant here. One is the issue of employment. Generally speaking, an, an honours degree will make you much, much more competitive in the market than just a standard bachelor's degree. Particularly, this is the case in law, as many of our uh, other institutions are starting to introduce the four-year honours program, where all students receive honours at the end. So you'll be competing in the marketplace with students who have LLB ONS as a qualification. And often, this is something that employers will use to cull applicants at the first stage. If they have a lot of students with a, a lot of applicants with a, um, with an honours qualification, those with just the standard bachelor's qualification often don't make the cut to the next stage. So it will enhance your employability greatly. The second is an honours degree is a gateway to postgraduate study. If you want to go on and study further, uh, particularly if you want to study uh, uh, complete a PhD, which would be the probably the best um, destination if you are looking seriously at um, postgraduate study, you need to have a, an honours degree to do that. And the honours degree will provide you with the skills you need to undertake research-based higher degrees. The third reason is that it will provide you with more extensive research and legal problem-solving skills, which is something that will be very useful to you in a variety of different careers. And the fourth is that part of what we do in this program is develop a body of work. You'll be completing two different dissertations of publishable size and length, and these are all things that will build up your portfolio and, and build up your career credibility and give you things that you can prove uh, your capabilities going forward. Now onto the format. As I mentioned before, the Honours Program is conducted over two terms, Term 1 and Term 2. And in each of those terms, you will, you will be enrolled in three subjects, three units of study. And these will all integrate together to provide a complete experience, but will also provide you with lots of options to focus on what you want to focus on as an individual researcher. So the first pair of uh, units is the dissertation units, dissertation A and dissertation B. In these subjects, you will be working closely with a supervisor who will help you to develop a large research project, a dissertation in each of them, which will be something that you'll produce as an article of a publishable size and publishable quality. Uh, and that will be something that's very important going forward. And you'll develop a, a close rapport and a close relationship with that supervisor who will mentor you in these important skills that you need to learn. The second pair of units is legal, Advanced Legal Research A and B. Now these units will provide you with the skills that will assist you in the preparation of the dissertation. And these are the, the units in which you will be meeting other students, you'll be collaborating with other students in the Honours Program, and you'll be providing each other with feedback and developing skills not just in research, but in writing, uh, in analysis, and in presentation. The third pair of units are the work-based learning units. Now these are two project-based units, and the themes of these units are based around the distinctive features of our CQU law program. And in each of these units, you'll have the opportunity to work on a project in a practical context that demonstrates your abilities in these particular areas. And this will be supported by a whole lot of materials and resources that will help you to do that.
Now you have options as to what, where these projects take place. You can possibly do them in your own workplace. There's the potential there. You can do them as part of a volunteering project, but you also have the opportunity to conduct them uh, within CQU Law School itself. You can actually become uh, an intern within our um, program. You can get to see what happens behind the scenes. You can work closely with a member of the teaching staff and help them to develop materials and resources. So it's a, a, an excellent opportunity there if you're thinking of teaching or training as a career destination, potentially down the line. This will give you the opportunity to learn some very important skills there. So hopefully that structure looks, looks appealing to you. And I'd like to stress that there is a lot of freedom within that structure to be able to focus on areas that are of interest to yourself and to be able to develop your particular expertises in a way that's in keeping with your own career aspirations. All right, so are you interested? Obviously, if you're still watching, you're at least interested um, in theory. How do you apply? Well, first of all, you need to meet the entry requirements. We require that everyone in the Honours Program achieves a credit average in their final year. Now, that means that you have the opportunity to maybe make a few mistakes in your first year and your second year. That's okay because we focus on your results purely in your third year or the equivalent of a third year if you're studying part-time or, or, or studying in a, in a different way. So that's the first thing, average of credit. And you have to have at least one distinction. You have to have at least one area in which you show that you are, um, that, that, that you are, are excelling. And hopefully, if you're interested in, in, in honours, this will be something that you'll be able to meet. Apart from that, you then apply directly to the university. I'll put the link in the YouTube page uh, comments below to give you the direct link to get there. And if you have any queries about the, the program itself or the process, please contact myself. And I'll, again, I'll put my details down below. Um, and I'll give you a call and we can have a chat and we can discuss it in more depth. But that's it. That's the honours program. I'm pretty excited about it. It's very distinct. It's very unique. It offers something that you can't get at any other law school in Australia. And I think it provides you with a much better opportunities to enhance your skills and to demonstrate what you can do than you would do from an ordinary integrated honours program. So, interested? Drop me a line and we can talk about it some more.